If Bernard wouldn't give you the answer? Well, he did. He tried, but I only got a 61. And they wouldn't give you four points? Birnbaum refused, absolutely. I begged him, Pop, but he won't give me those points. You, you got to talk to him before they close the school. Because if he saw the kind of man you are, and you know, you just talk to him in, in your way, I, I'm sure he'd come through for me. The class came just before practice, see, and I didn't go enough. Hmm. Would, would, would you talk to him? I mean, he'd like you, Pop. You know, the way you could talk. <laughs> uh, you're up. We'll drive right back. Ah, good, Dad. Good, good work. I'm sure he'll change it for you. All right, go downstairs. Tell the clerk I'm checking out. Go right down. Yes, sir. You, you see, the reason he hates me, Pop, mm? one day he was late for class, so I got up at the blackboard and imitated him. I crossed my eyes and talked with a lip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kids like it. They nearly died laughing. Uh, <laughs> what'd you do? Well, uh, the square root of 63. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in the middle of it, he walked right in. Uh, hurry downstairs. Uh, somebody uh, in there? No, no, that was next door. Uh, uh, somebody got in your bathroom. No, no, it's the next room. There's a party. There's a... Can I come in? Hmm? There's something in the bathtub, Willie, and there's a moon. <laughs> uh, no, you better go back to your room. There must be finished painting by now. They're painting her room, see, so... I'll let her take a shower here. Now, go back. Go back. But I, I've got to get dressed, Willie. No, I can't go out. Get out of here. Now, go go back. This is Miss Francis, Biff. Uh, she's a buyer. They're painting her room. Go back, Miss Francis. Uh, go back. But go. my clothes! Get I it. can't go out and make it. Here, get back. Uh, where's my stockings? You promised me stockings, Willie. I have no stockings. Now, you had two boxes of size nine shears for me, and I want them. Now, here! God's sake, will you get out of here? Right. I just hope there's nobody in the hall. That's all I hope. Are you football or baseball? Football. Hm, that's me, too. Good night. Well, we better get going. I want to get to school first thing in the morning. Uh, you get my suits out of the closet, I'll get my valise out. What's the matter? She's a buyer. Buys for J.H. Simmons. She lives down the hall. They're painting. You, you don't imagine. Now listen, pal. She's just a buyer. She sees merchandise in the room. I have to keep it looking just so. And All right. Now get my suits. Now, now stop crying and do as I say. I gave you an order, Biff. I gave you an order. Is that what you do when I give you an order? How dare you cry? Now, <sighs> oh, look, Biff, when, when you grow up, you'll understand about these things. You mustn't... You mustn't overemphasize a thing like this. I'll see Birnbaum first thing in the morning. Never mind. Never mind, he's going to give you those points, I'll see to it. He wouldn't listen to you. Oh, he certainly will listen to me. You need those points for the U of Virginia. I'm not going there. What? Well, if I can't get him to change that mark, you'll make it up in summer school. You've got all summer to... Dad. Oh, my boy. Oh, Dad. No, no, she's, she's nothing to me, Biff. I, I was lonely. I was terribly lonely. <laughs> you gave him mama stockings. <laughs> I gave you an order. Don't touch me, Lyra. Oh, apologize for that. You no. fake, you I, fake. I gave you a lot of... Come back here or I'll beat you! Come back here or I'll prep you! I gave you a lot of... Mr. Loman, Mr. Loman. Hmm? Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up, Mr. Loman. Hmm. Your son's left with the chippies. They said they'll see you home. Uh, we're supposed to have dinner together. Can you make it? Mm hmm. Yeah, sure, sure, I can make it. I can. Do I look all right? Sure, you look all right. Yeah. Here's a dollar. Oh, your son paid me, Mr. Oh, Loman. Oh, you, you, you take it, take it. You don't have to do it, Mr. Loman. Good boy. Here's some more. I don't... I don't need it anymore. Tell me... Is there a seed store in the neighborhood? 
seeds? You mean like to plant? Yeah, carrots, peas. Well, there's hardware stores on 6th Avenue, but it may be too late now. Oh, I better hurry. I gotta get some seeds. I, I gotta get some seeds right away and nothing's planted. I don't have a, a thing in the ground. Hey, what are you doing up? Was Pop, is he asleep? Where were you? We met two girls, Mom, very fine tights. Here we brought you some flowers. Put them in your room, Mom. What'd you do that for? Don't you care whether he lives or dies? I'm upstairs, Beth. Get away from me. What do you mean, lives or dies? Nobody's dying around here, pal. Get out of my sight. Get out of here. I want to see the boss. You're not going near him. Where is he? You invite him for dinner. He looks forward to it all day, and then you desert him there. There's no stranger you do that to. Why? He had a swell time with us. Listen, when I desert him, I hope I don't outlive the day. Get out of here. Now, look, Mom. Did you have to go to women tonight? Mom. You and your lousy, rotten whores. Mom, all we did was follow Biff around trying to cheer him up. Boy, what a night you gave me. Get out of here, both of you. Don't come back. I don't want you tormenting him anymore. Go on now, get your things together. You can sleep in his apartment. Pick up this stuff. I'm not your maid anymore. Pick it up, you bum, you. You're a pair of animals. Not one, not another living soul would have had the cruelty to walk out on that man in a restaurant. Is that what he said? He didn't have to say anything. He was so humiliated, he nearly limped when he came in. But, Mom, he had a great time. Shut with... up! You. You didn't even go in to see if he was all right. No. Didn't. Didn't do a damn thing. How do you like that, huh? Left them babbling in the toilet. You louse. You... Oh, now you hit it on the nose. The scum of the earth, and you're looking at it. Get out of here. No, I, I got to talk to the boss, Mom. Where you're is he? You're not it? going near him. Get out of this house. No, we're going to have an abrupt conversation, him and me. You're not talking to him. Please. Leave him alone. What's he doing out there? He's planting the garden. Now? Oh, my God. Garrett. Rose, one foot rose, yeah. one foot beets, yeah. lettuce, one foot, yeah, what a proposition, terrific, terrific. Because she's suffered, Ben. The woman has suffered, you understand me? A man can't go out the way he came in. Ben, a man has to add up to something. You can't... You can't. You gotta consider now. Don't, don't answer so quick. Remember, it's a guaranteed $20,000 proposition. Now... Look, Ben, I, I want you to go through the ins and outs of this thing with me. I've got nobody to talk to, Ben, and, and the woman has suffered. You hear me? What's the proposition? Yeah. Uh, it's $20,000 on the barrel head, guaranteed, guilt edge. You understand? You don't want to make a fool of yourself. They might not honor the policy. Well, how can they dare refuse? Didn't I work like a coolie to meet every premium on the nose and now they don't pay off? Impossible. It's called a cowardly thing, William. Why? Does it take more guts to stand here the rest of my life ringing up a zero? That is a point, William. Yeah. And 20,000. That is something one can feel with the hand. It's there. Oh, Ben, that's the whole beauty of it. I see it like a diamond. Shining in the dark, hard and rough, that I can pick up and touch with my hand. Not like, like an appointment. This wouldn't be another damn fool appointment, Ben. And it changes all the aspects, because he thinks I'm nothing, see? And so he spites me. But the funeral, 